Who you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wine You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of the sea This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes, it's looking vibrant on my shirt. And time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the earth. What do, you, what do you mean by soon to come, brother? Mike, Mike, Mike. Whenever God spoke to Jeremiah about what was going to happen, right? He was talking about at that time, they were still going to be into bunny. You want the mic, guy? They were still going to be pushed in a bunny. He wasn't reading out of he wasn't reading out of Jeremiah. I, what, what was that? That was Moses. Like you're building a whole point off of something that's not true, bro. You said you said when you said all that stuff about hold, hold, let, me, let me clarify, brother. What, what's your name? Aster. Aster. Okay, Aster. Right. Let me clarify. He read out of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Moses Moses was giving that to Israel. You everything you just said was based off of what you thought Jeremiah said. So, Actually, what I thought God told you, keep going. Go ahead and keep so going. So it's the same thing. All right, how about this? I want to tell you that God wasn't talking about Africans or whatever or Israelites until he said something about the boats. What? When he said something about them getting put on boats, wasn't that a prophecy? Yes. Or was he just reading something else that just came from a whole No, I, I, I agree with you, brother. Yeah, okay. So that was the one about slavery, mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. well, slavery, that happened with the chains and stuff like that, child, where they got the pictures of, that's what he was talking about. At okay. that point, at that point, that, he was talking about an ongoing, an ongoing, basically curse that's on them for not serving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so when we're going to fast forward to us, I'm ready to get to us, the us part. That is us. I, I believe you, but... We're going to go New Testament. The only reason why I want to go New Testament because Old Testament, it said, I for not two for two. New Testament, Jesus said, or do I want to say yes for better fan, y'all? Yes, we said. What does that, what, what does that have to do with? Let's because, run it back. Well, let's, 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 let's run it back. We're, 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 I'm, 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 I'm trying to finish it. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I want to run it back to one thing real fast. What are you trying to say, like, as far as, what's, wait, what's going on right here? Hey, hand me that. Let's see your pocket. You want a second? Because you made a point about the ships. What, what? I don't. I don't understand your point about the ships. Before we go all the way into the New Testament stuff like that, I was trying to grasp like where you where you trying to go with that. That's the only time God. For right now, what I believe, what I heard the Word of God say right now. For right now, that's the only time I heard God say something about I was what that slavery. Are you sure about that? That's the only time I have you have you read that chapter? When we had a chance to reread it, if you want to get reread, you want me to keep. We, talking? we read it twice. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this. <laughs> New Testament, different. Okay, so you uh, New Covenant. So, so you want to abandon yes that? No. You want to abandon that though? I'm not abandoning it. I mean, we, 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 if, not, if you're not gonna bet, let's, let's finish this. Let's finish it though. You want to know who gonna finish it? No, I'm Jesus. saying let's finish that point though, brother. Like, stop moving so fast. Well, I'm not. I'm not your enemy. No, I'm, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Not. I know you're not, but why you keep cutting me off? I won't get to the point. No, I, the only reason I'm cutting you off because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about three different topics at the same time. Let's talk about one. Let's, let's get a conclusion on Deuteronomy 28. Then we can go wherever you want. So as far as Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, 28, yes, that, wasn't that a ongoing curse? That specific one, no. It was Go to verse 15 and then we're going to read verse 68. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto if the voice to of the Lord thy God thou don't listen to, me. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. So all these curses are going to come upon thee and overtake thee. They're all going to happen at different time periods. So to say Deuteronomy 28, 68 is going to just be an ongoing thing, it can't be an ongoing thing. Because Deuteronomy 28, 68, as far as the slave ships, can't happen at the same time as certain curses. That's later. At this moment, those curses... Like now? 2023. Moment, 
that moment. That, okay, that moment. Go ahead. Those curses mm -hmm. kept going. I agree. They're, they're still because going up. They didn't want to continue to serve the Most High. They yeah. served idols and so forth and so on, right? Yeah, Israel so still serve so, idols. So that's the slavery. That ain't, ain't that the bondage that he's talking about? And who, who's talking about? God. Ain't sure. that the bondage that he's sure. talking about? Sure, I can do with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll to Jesus now. Okay. New Testament, right? Jesus said, I, uh, the Old Testament said, I for not two for two. But I say that you shall love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That you should love your enemies, right? Mm -hmm. Or am I tripping? You're correct, brother. Oh, okay. All right. So, while we keep on speaking on our so-called enemies, white people so-called, if we supposed to love them, who's, why we got why we got why we got a bash? Who's the, who's the enemies that Christ told us to love? That's a question. If you want to take it there, no human being is our enemy. The Bible says that. Uh, if you want to take it there, brother, brother, that doesn't make sense though. How? Because you're saying you started off with saying, "See, we're supposed to love well, our we're not brother, brother, brother Asher, Asher, blood, Asher, 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 Asher." I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being very respectful to you, brother. Show me that same respect. Let me finish my thought. Go ahead. Right. So you started this off with saying, "We're supposed to love our enemies," and then I asked you, "Who are these enemies?" And then you followed up with say, "Well, nobody's our enemies. Well, somebody has to be our, and so we can love them." So I'm asking you, who are these enemies? Anybody that will bring to bring forth home to you. Is that it, is that how you is that how God looks at it though? So give me Exodus chapter twenty three. You have to go ahead. It's the book of Exodus book. chapter twenty three, verse four. Mm -hmm. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, yeah. thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. Mm -hmm. If thou see the ass of him that hated thee. Lying under his burden and wouldest forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help him with help with him. So where we so hey brother brother Asher Asher you're not you're not listening to new covenant brother brother Asher you Asher you not we can deal with the new covenant we can get there we can get there we hold hold up brother we can get there but you're talking about something that's from the old covenant love thy neighbor didn't come in the new covenant that's the old covenant brother you know that right yes it 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 okay so that means yes it is. Yes, it is. But here's the thing. We're not talking about that, though. We're literally yeah. talking about who are the enemies. We're talking about the enemies, right? Let's go ahead and talk we, about the enemies. According to Exodus 23, the enemy is your own person, your own neighbor, your brother. That's who your that's who your enemy is. Wake them up, Your, own, your own people. Your own people. That has nothing to do the with anybody else people. outside of them. So watch this. Go back, go back to Leviticus. Go to what Leviticus. Is, what is they talking about over there? What? The book of Leviticus. I just heard the enemy was the white man. The book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verse seventeen: mm -hmm. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Yeah. So we want to see who your brother is. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, mm -hmm. and not suffer sin upon him. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So your people, your own lineage of people. That's who your brother is. That's according to Torah. And right here, we just read how you love your how you love your neighbor. So Christ, his understanding is going to be off the Torah, right? That's what he grew up in, right? Leviticus eleven or Levit Leviticus nineteen. So his understanding of who your brother is is your own people. So the, the only under, the only conclusion you can come to is the enemies that he's talking about that you're supposed to love is the enemies of your people. That's who he's talking about. Now, as far as the white man, the white man has a judgment on himself. That's right. That's 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 just, it is what it is on that. Because give me give me Deuteronomy chapter not Deuteronomy, Jeremiah thirty verse sixteen. Bring it out. Let right? me show you something. And you give me uh, Hebrews eight and eight for the new covenant. Go ahead. There's a book of Jeremiah chapter thirty and verse sixteen. Therefore, all they that devour thee yeah. shall be devoured. Yeah. And all thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity, yeah. and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So didn't the white men devour us? Didn't they put us for a spoil? Says who? I'm, I'm asking you. Says who? Well, who says who and what? So, so now we pass. So now, so now we we just. No, we're on the same topic. I'm saying, but we back to slavery, right? Yes. All right. So you saying that was a, that was the white people. I'm saying the white the white man devoured us and put us in captivity. So it, right here in Jeremiah 30 verse 16, it says those who put you in captivity shall go into captivity. So how are we wrong for saying something's going to happen to them? If God said it right there, 
that's not talking about our slavery. What are you talking? What are you talking about? That's talking about when they was in Egypt. No, it's not. That's talking about the ongoing. Do you, stuff do you know? They, what, hold up. This is not Egypt. Jeremiah. Jer right, Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah. Right, now, hold up. Wait. Now. Wait. Wait. Hold up. Jeremiah is contemporary to what time period? Kings. Babylon. The Babylonian captivity went through. That's way after Egypt. So this is after Egypt, brother. So this is talking about a future prophecy for us. The people who put us in captivity will go into captivity. That's what this says. So I'm going to ask you the same question. If the Bible says the people who put us in captivity are going to go into captivity, how are we wrong for saying that they are going to go into captivity? That's hard, isn't it, right? Now, let's talk about the new covenant real quick, brother. This is yeah. the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. Yeah. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel yeah. and with the house of Judah. So who's the new covenant for? According to that verse. What? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So who is the new covenant for? Would you agree with what's been written? It says between Judah and, and Judah and Israel, correct? So go ahead. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, yeah. saith the Lord. Well, he's do what? Go ahead. I will put my laws he, into wait, he's gonna do what? I will put my laws He's gonna force he's gonna force fit his old covenant laws into what? Into their mind. So it's not it's not gonna be dissipated ever. That's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is gonna allow us to keep the commandments. But keep us the keep the Old Testament though. That's what the new covenant is for. The whole thing is the whole thing. The only thing about it is when I say the whole thing is the whole thing is the whole Bible is true. The Bible is not gonna go against itself. I agree with you. It's the word of God. I agree with now, you. Jesus himself is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So what he was able to do is something that we couldn't do to show that it's not by works. It's not by our works. It's only what he can do. And that's why we were saved by grace. What could what could he do that we couldn't do? Huh? That's that's a logical question, brother. No, I'm at. All right, go ahead. What what could you said he he did something that we couldn't do? Yeah. What was that? A perfect life. A perfect life. A perfect, a sinless life. Okay, give me uh, what, what do you got, Peter? Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of First Peter, chapter two and verse twenty-one. Bring it out. Luke one and five. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Christ left us an example, right? Yes. Oh, they what? That ye should follow his steps. We should follow yes. his steps, right? Watch this. Who did no sin. Who what? Who did no sin. So Christ didn't do no sin. He left us an example that we can do no sin. Following in his steps. He following his steps. That's literally what that verse said. Man, did you do that? Y'all really gonna do this? Yes. It, I mean, you, you, are you gonna be mad at the Bible verse? It's not the Bible I didn't say anything. It's your understanding. It's your okay, right. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna read it. I want you to explain it to me, Roger. Go ahead. Go ahead. For First uh, Peter two and twenty one. I want you, I want you to break it down. You said it's my understanding. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow His steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. So what does that mean? Yeah, he, he's spotless. And he left us an example that we should walk after that and be spotless. How? By, by Philippians 4.13. Holy Spirit is not you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The, so, by, the Holy so, Spirit so, lets so you be perfect. He, so when he ascended, yeah. hmm? what happened? The Holy Spirit was dispensed. He ascended, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Now we able to do what we wasn't able to do before. Yeah, that's keep the commandments. Because of him. Yeah. Not because of our works. What is that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Not because you, you, of us. You're skipping a step. This is, be, this Bro, is brother, because Brother, hold up. You're skipping a step, brother. The spirit that descends upon us allows us to have good works. You understand that, right? You know the Bible says that, right? Philippians 2. That, that, that's, not, that's not what I'm saying. 
That's not. That's not the. No, case. no, no. no, no, no I know what I'm saying call, is, I know somebody called what I said. No, what, no. I, I call what you said, but you're you're misinterpreting what we believe in. Is what I'm saying. You could. Y'all doing the same thing to me? No, I, I perfectly understand what you believe in because I was in it for 20 years. Mm. I know exactly what you're talking about. But well, give me Philippians chapter two. I, I left because it was false, brother. Well, but you, I'm not you mean, a, uh, part of nothing false. I'm a part of the word of but, God. Okay. Ephesians two. Okay. Ephesians I don't two. I believe in religion. I believe in relationship with God, bro. Okay. I'll go to church though. I'm that, that, right that's, here with that's religion. Too. That's religion, bro. Right that, that's religion. Has, so how's having church religion when they? Say I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. Give me this. Give me this in verse. Ten. Two right. in his this is the book of uh, 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 Ephesians, chapter two and verse ten. Because and before we read this, I'm gonna go back to what you said, brother. Because so I can I can prove that I'm not misinterpreting what you say. When he ascended, the Holy Spirit descended upon us to where now we can work, walk in good works. Correct. So we weren't able to do that before. I wouldn't say that either. I'm gone. Bro. Watch this. On, Watch bro. this. Of course, hey, of course you're, you're brother. You're being a coward. You're a coward. Yeah. You're a coward. Yeah. You no, you ain't, and you're a coward, brother. Come over here and deal like a man. Come over here and deal like a man, brother. Y'all be quiet. Y'all come over and deal with the man. Come over and deal like a man, brother. I'm I'm, I'm calling you a coward because you're walking off from hearing the Bible that cuts you. That's why you're being a come over here and hear the Bible, brother. Come over here and hear the Bible. Stop doing that. Stop doing that, brother. Now read this. Read this. Luke 1 to 15. This is the book of Luke. Five. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea. A certain priest named Zacharias of the course of... Asher, I want you to hear the Bible, bro. Let's hear the Bible. Read, don't talk over the Bible. That's rude. Yes, sir. God, go ahead. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah, and his wife was the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. and, there was, uh, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. Blameless. Were they perfect? So why did it say they walked in all the commandments of God blameless? Because he was pleased. He was pleased because they were blameless, brother. Because they didn't break the law. I mean, he was pleased that they effort. Bro. No, it says they, they read it again. Read, say, read verse six again. This is the book of Luke, Luke chapter one, one verse six. Is, and they were both righteous you before be God, walking Spirit. in all the commandments. Wait, 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 wait. So the Bible's lying? No. Read verse six. This you the said they, were they righteous though? They was righteous. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Luke chapter one verse six. Hmm? And they were both oh, righteous God. before God, God walking in all the commandments. God. The, what, what did the second part say? We gonna see each other flaws, but that was righteous before God. But what did the second what, what, what did the second part say though? Read, read that part again, right out there. It said they were righteous before God. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments. Did they walk in all the commandments? So you can walk in all the commandments, correct? Yeah. So what are we arguing about then? I know that's tough. Go ahead and let's get this in Ephesians too. Go ahead. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. For we are his workmanship. Yeah. Created in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Unto good works. Unto good works. Go ahead. Which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. God already preordained for us to walk in the walk commandments in. in the Taurus, right? Walk, but walk since, in. since, the, since, like you said, since the Holy, since Christ ascended, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit descended upon us, right? We are Christ's workmanship unto good works. Now we can keep this law with no problem if we have the Holy Spirit. We can do all things through Christ that strengthen us, right? Yeah. So we can keep the laws. That's right. Christ kept the law. Works. No, it is works. I mean, of course it's works, but it's going to be the works of the Holy Spirit. He, he, he yeah. going to get out of credit, bro. What, what, no what's, credit. what's the works of the Holy Spirit? I'm asking you. Right. Give me, give me, Period. Okay. Righteousness. Give me Deuteronomy Period. 6, verse 20, Period. 25. Holy give Spirit. me Acts chapter 7, verse 51. Right, come up, De Deuteronomy chapter 6, uh, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness... Mm -hmm. If we observe to do all these commandments. So the, the, the works of righteousness that the Holy Spirit does is to allow you to keep the laws. That's works, brother. So how is that different than, how, how are we, how, how are we in, a, in a disagreement? We had a disagreement because I don't care how righteous somebody act like you sin. So, so I sin? I don't look at you. I don't watch you. No, I'm asking you. you I no. don't watch you. Well, I'm, I'm going. I'm going off. I'm going off your statement. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Wait. Then that creates a problem, brother. We are. We are natural born sinners. Hold, hold up, brother. That that creates a problem. You said I don't care how righteous people look, but you still sin. 
You yes. wouldn't. Okay, then. So you, you're accusing me of being a sinner, correct? You can't have one without the, Bible, the other. The Bible says that no man is righteous before God. Who was was uh, was uh, Zacharias righteous? I'm saying the Bible says that man before God, everybody dirty, bro. Everybody is. Uh, uh, Brother, we're not we're not talking about yes, that. We we're not talking about that at all. We're not talking about that, brother. We're not talking about that. Give me, give me, give me Luke chapter one we verse six sinners, again. But we were saved by grace. Was Zacharias a sinner? We were saved by grace. I mean, was Zacharias a sinner though? What Everybody is sinners. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a different covenant. Everybody is a sinner. Wait, 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 hold, wait, wait, wait! Hold up, brother! Hold up, brother! You said it's a different covenant. What do you mean it's a different covenant? Zacharias was in the old covenant, but I thought that was—I thought that was in Luke. I thought that was a New Testament book for you. All right, go to go. All right, all right. Go back to Luke. Go back to Luke. This the book of Luke, chapter one, verse six. You want to start at five again? No, just verse six. Verse six, and they were both righteous Zacharias. before God. Zacharias, John the Baptist's father. It says Zacharias. Yeah, but that's John the Baptist's father. It just said he was righteous before God. So I thought nobody can be righteous before God. I thought Christ is going to present us as righteous, though, too. So how can, how can nobody be righteous before God, but Christ is going to present us to be righteous before God? Brother, there's a cognitive dissonance between what you believe in and the Bible. Like, there's no way, there's no way we're reading these verses... And it just completely goes against what you've been saying, and you continue to be right. Like, you have to be humble, brother. I'm humble. I don't know about that. 